Hello 3D printing friends. I'm here today with two interesting items. The Creality Wi-Fi Cloud Box and the Creality Smart Kit. The only difference between these two is this one comes with just the Cloud Box and this one comes with the Cloud Box and the Creality Camera. The main objective of this box is for people who would like to monitor their prints while they're away using their smartphone or tablet. This kit requires you to purchase the camera separately. This kit comes with the camera included. One of the biggest drawbacks of this device is as of yet, it does not support third party cameras. You have to use the Creality branded camera. This box is super affordable, $20, sometimes less. This one, not so much. 60 or 65 dollars because of the included camera however neither one of these is terribly going to break the bank the positive to using the creality branded proprietary web camera is that it's going to work it was made for the device the software is already installed there's no drivers to worry about you get the box you get the camera you hook it up and it works however i'm still extremely disappointed that this box does not support third-party cameras because they are readily available, super affordable, and let's face it, they're falling from the sky. I can find an HD web camera at my local church rummage sale for $5. That said, this is where we're at. Now, it goes without saying, whenever the Creality Wi-Fi Cloud Box is mentioned, another name is mentioned, and that's Octopi and Raspberry Pi. Whenever people say, oh, how's that Creality Wi-Fi box thing? Everybody says, Psh, just get a Raspberry Pi and put Octoprint on it. It's so easy. Here's the reality. It's not easy. There's a lot of configuring. And if things don't work right away for you, there's a lot of technical stuff that requires text commands and SSH and all these things that the average person may have never heard of in their life and may lose lots of hours trying to set up. Granted, Octoprint is super powerful and can do a lot of things this box can't, but this box is 20 or $60, is plug and play, ready to go right out of the box within a few minutes. The main objective of this box is to open up your smartphone, get a visual of your print, get a snapshot of the printer's parameters, the speed, the percentage the print is complete, the temperature of the nozzle, the temperature of the bed. Those are all things you can get and are easy to set up and can have up and running out of this box in a few minutes. Let's have a look at the box. So here's the Creality Smart Kit. It's in a much larger box with some very pretty blue trim. It's much more attractive than the Creality Wi-Fi Cloud Box. Inside we've got some paperwork, a little notice. Looks like a manual with a parts list, a micro USB cable, another micro USB cable, the Creality Wi-Fi smart box itself, an 8 gig micro USB card and much smaller than you may think the Creality web camera but wait there's more a micro to mini USB adapter and a nifty little tripod so here's the entire kit I'm very pleased that it came with an 8 gig micro SD card because the Creality Wi-Fi cloud box does not come with an SD card. It does not come with a camera and it does not come with just a neat little tripod. Let's face it, this tripod is junk, but that's not what we're here for. So here's the star of the show, the Creality camera. This is the star of the show because it's the only camera you can use with the Creality cloud box. That makes this thing mighty important. If this thing is no good, the whole kit is no good. At first glance, it does look very small, very lightweight, almost kind of cheap. But after further thought and closer consideration, that might be exactly what it needs to be, which is lightweight and small. 
considering you're going to want to mount this perhaps directly to your printer or directly to a very lightweight clamp or stand of some kind. As far as being lightweight, the other important thing is that this hinge works and the tripod threads work. The hinge is very stiff and I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble keeping this in a position I want it. The tripod thread is a metal screw. It does even have a lip across the bottom side of the camera and a rubber grip across the top side of the mount, which means this should sit on top of a monitor rather comfortably or maybe even a cross member of your printer. Overall, I'm actually pretty pleased with the small lightweight build of this camera. Assuming, of course, it takes decent video. Speaking of video, let's hook this thing up and see how it works. First, let's install the micro SD card. On the side of this box, you'll spot a micro SD card slot. This is important because that signifies this as the newer version of this box. There is an older version of this box that does not have the micro SD card slot. So when you buy your box, look for something that mentions the TF card slot or a photo that shows it. Take the card face up and just stick it in and push it till it clicks. To remove it, you push it down, it'll click again and come out. Turn it around and look for the micro USB power slot. You take your micro USB cable and you plug it in right there. This end is gonna go into a block. This kit does not come with a block. You're gonna to need to supply your own. Something from Five Below or Walmart will work or just use your iPhone plug. Anything similar will power this box just fine. The next thing you need to do is plug in a USB cable for your printer. Now this is very important because some people, when they connect the USB cable to the box, and plug the other end into their printer, their screen turns on and won't turn off. Sometimes the screen flashes. Sometimes the printer locks up. Sometimes it just freaks out. The reason is because your printer is drawing five volts from the Creality box or even your Raspberry Pi. Both of them suffer from this issue. When you plug the USB cable into the printer, it attempts to draw five volts from the USB power coming from this cable. The solution is very simple. We're going to block the five volt on the USB cable. Here's how. You're gonna need electrical tape, tweezers, and some kind of clipper. A small flush clipper works perfectly. You're gonna take your tape and your clipper and you're just gonna clip a very tiny little piece and pull it off. Take your dollar store tweezers and press it into place and you're gonna have it just like this. So you're gonna see pin one, two, three, four, and you're gonna completely cover that fourth pin with the tape, and that's gonna block the five volt source from this cable, so your printer can't draw the five volt power from this cable and cause your screen to freak out and turn on all by itself and be possessed. Once you've done that, just plug it back into your Creality box and hook it up to your printer. Okay, so I'm upstairs with my printers and my Creality Smart Box. You wanna keep this thing in reach because during the setup process, you're going to want to turn it over and scan this QR code with your phone to connect to this box and get the setup going. I'm gonna show you on my phone right now what the setup looks like. Here we go. Go to the App Store and type in Creality and press Get or whatever you need to do on your device. And once it downloads, you're gonna open it up and tell it to add a new device. When you do that, it's gonna ask for you to scan a QR code and you're gonna scan the QR code on the bottom of your device. Choose wireless settings unless you're using a Cat5 cable and it will connect to the Creality via the SSD that the Creality box itself is putting out. The password and username will be typed in automatically. Once that's done, you can switch to your own Wi-Fi and the box will be programmed with your own Wi-Fi. You need to choose a 2G because the box doesn't support 5G. I named my device Josie after a competitor on South African Survivor <laughs> Season 6. And now you'll see it says a new firmware version is available. So touch update firmware and get started. It'll download the new firmware and install it. 
I noticed sometimes it doesn't finish on its own. It just kind of continues to spin. Just restart the app and come back to this screen and you'll be set with the new firmware. Make sure you do give it a little bit of time though. Once you're logged in, this is the screen you'll see. Just touch the camera icon and there is the camera working just like that. You can minimize it. You can drag it up and down the screen. You can even switch to different different Creality Wi-Fi boxes with one particular camera still on the screen. There it is, my full size uh, web feed. And now we're looking at the actual printer itself. The print is 16% done. You can see the nozzle temp at 190, the hotbed at 58. You can actually change those just by moving the slider and pressing confirm. So that's super cool. And you can see how super easy this was. Those are my two printers, Katinka and Josie. Yes, Katinka is also a competitor from South African Survivor Season 6. Here you can see that you can open the camera up while poking in and out of your multiple printers, each connected to their own Creality Wi-Fi box, and drag the video around while looking at your percentage print, your temperatures, your nozzle. You can change things and just basically do whatever you want without losing your video feed. It can stay right there on the interface. So this, super cool. So there you have it. The Creality Wi-Fi Smart Kit app works very well. It's very easy to use and it's very easy to set up. Literally anybody can do it. Having spent a few days with the app now, I can comfortably say that its poor reputation is undeserved. Whatever changes and developments they've made in the software with the app and the hardware have paid off and the Creality Wi-Fi Cloud Box works very well. That said, it's missing a few key features that keep it from putting up a fight against the biggest player in the game, and that's Octoprint. For Creality to really step up their game and have a serious contender on their hands for people to consider over Octoprint, they need a few key features, and they are video recording to the SD card, screenshot to the SD card, PC interface, to upload G-code files to the printer, PC interface to view the webcam from the printer, time-lapse, and third-party cameras. Creality, give this thing time-lapse and third-party camera support, and you have a serious winner on your hands, especially considering the cost of entry and the ease of use. So that's my two cents. I really enjoy owning the Creality Wi-Fi Cloud Box and the Creality Smart Kit, which are basically the same things. Camera, no camera. I have no problem recommending it to a 3D printer owner that wants to add basic controls and monitoring plus camera viewing to their 3D printer. This is the quickest, easiest, most affordable way to go about it. It can be set up in five minutes flat. It's a no brainer. And despite what you may have heard, it works. So that's all I've got for you today. You're watching Greg Adventure. I'm Greg and these cool boxes are today's adventure.